you love cookies. Hey, Mom. You wanted to see me? Yeah, honey. Uh, we need to talk. I think you should probably get off your phone. Okay, I'm just finishing up this text to Molly. <laughs> What's up? Well, I didn't want to have to do this. You know I hate working more, but... Uh -oh. oh Don't tell me. You and Dad are going to be gone even more than you already are? Mom, I'm sorry, honey, but... We as grown-ups sometimes have to do what we need to do to, well, make sure you have a house and food and clothes and... But mom, I miss you guys. <gasps> I know, honey. That's why I hired someone new to spend some time with you. Her name is Kim and she seems really nice. She's gonna be your new nanny. Nanny, mom, I'm too grown up for that. Look, this new work position that I have, honey, it means I have to do some overnights out of town. And I don't think you should stay here all alone. Well, my brothers are still going to be here. They have sports, honey. They have a lot of stuff going on. Come on. You guys need to have a nanny. Fine. I guess I'll give Kim the chance she deserves. Thanks so much, honey. She should be here any minute. Mom, you're saying tonight she's starting? Uh huh? But mom, my friends... Molly and Daisy, they're supposed to be having a sleepover with me tonight? Oh no, maybe we need to cancel it this time. Cancel it this time. What? What? No, mom, you've been promise me th promising me this sleepover for like two months. We can't cancel it. They're, they're already coming. All right, honey, I'm sure Kim will be fine with it. I'll let her know, okay? Okay, thanks, mom. I really am gonna miss you while you're out of town at work. I'll miss you too, sweetie. I'll miss you too. Oh, she's here now. I'm sure you're going to love her, honey. Wow, Kim, you seem pretty nice. You seem nice too, Brookie. So we're going to have a great time, right? See you later, everybody. Have fun. Bye, Mom. Bye. We'll be fine. So, Kim, what do you like to do for fun? Fun? Hmm, let me see. Oh, my friends Molly and Daisy are here. <laughs> Wait till you meet them. They're amazing. Great. More kids for me to boss around. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, Daisy, hi. Come on in. Hey, Ricky. I brought a big bag of Doritos, your favorite. Aw, thanks. Dad brought so many clothes for us to try on. We could do like dress to impress if you want. Ooh, fun. Kids, where are you? Oh, yeah, I didn't have time to text you, but my mom hired a nanny. Uh -oh. What? Where's your mom? And your dad? They both had to go away for the week for, for work. Oh, wow. Brookie, I'm sorry. That must make you really sad. Yeah, I'm going to miss them, but my new nanny seems really nice. Let's go meet her. She's probably awesome. Wow. La, 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 la. Oh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to run into you. Whatever, kid. Watch where you're going. Oh. What did you say about her being nice? Oh, <laughs> you probably just ran into her and that probably hurt. Um, I think we got off on the wrong foot here, so I'm going to offer you some of my Doritos, but only after I've eaten some. Molly! <laughs> sorry, Brookie. I, here, you can have them. At least some of them, but not all of them. I don't want... Your gross Dorito. <gasps> Whoa, Kim, what's wrong with you? I don't really like kids. So you're going to make this week not annoying. That's it. I'm going home. What? No, we can't leave Brookie here with this crazy lady. But Molly, seriously, I'm not leaving her here alone. She's my best friend and this lady is psycho. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was just being a little grumpy. Seems that I'm um, really needing something to eat. When I get hungry, I get hangry. How about I go make us all a delicious cake? Wow. Well, um, okay, Kim, you're forgiven. You can make us a cake. Great. <laughs> I'll be just down baking it. You girls stay right here. Whoa, what's her deal? She seems like J Mr. Jacqueline. What is it? Jacqueline High? Yeah, that's it. Where? Dr. Jekyll is, like, super nice, but then when he turns into Mr. Hyde, he's psycho! Ah! Oh, maybe she's just a little nervous, because it is her first day on the job. Yeah, maybe. Come on, let's eat some Doritos. Buddy, we're going to eat cake in a minute. 
Yeah, so Doritos and cake go perfect together. So what did Luke say when you said that you wanted to go to the dance with him? <gasps> um, he said he'd think about it. Ow! Whoa, Molly! Well, that's not a no. Well, it's not exactly a yes either. Well, it's close to a yes. A think about it is, I really like you, but I don't know how to tell you. That's true, Molly. That's exactly what that could mean. Girls, come on down here, please. Okay, let's stop eating the Doritos and go eat some cake. <coughs> Sounds delicious. La, 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 gonna eat some cake. You'd think I'd have a stomach ache, but no. Literally, I have a stomach like a goat. I can eat tin cans and I don't get a stomach ache. <laughs> Ooh, yummy cake. I know. Doesn't this look delicious? It's the last slice. The last slice, but you baked a whole cake. Where's the rest? Did you burn it? No, I ate it. This last slice, though, looks so good. Well, I guess we could split it since you ate the rest, Piggy. What? What did you call me? She's just kidding. She calls me that, too. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just saying you ate a whole cake by yourself. Yeah, and I'm about to eat this last slice right in front of you. Wait, what? You're kidding, right? No. So. Not. <laughs> okay, lady. That is rude. Why would you do that? You know what? You're a brat. You're the biggest brat of you three. I think you should go plunge the toilet. <laughs> Why do I need to plunge the toilet? Uh, Molly, I thought that was obvious. She ate an entire cake by herself. Obviously, she plugged the toilet. Ugh. Well, they don't have a plunger at Brookie's house, so I guess this vacuum will have to suck it out. Ew, gross. Hey, what's that on the counter? Does that say diary? <gasps> it's Kim's diary. She must have left it in here when she was plugging the toilet. I know it's not nice to read somebody's diary, but I'm totally gonna. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <gasps> no wonder she's evil. <laughs> Keep counting. You have to brush my hair a thousand times. Get it right. Okay, so we, um, how was it? 457, 458. Okay, um, can I see you in the other room? Sure, Molly, what is it? I have to tell you something. Come on. I'm down into the basement. <gasps> this is amazing! Oh, um, yeah, you haven't seen my house since we had the pool put in? No, it's amazing. Too bad your parents have to work so hard to pay for it. I know. They're never home. I would have rather they be home than have this big pool. I know. I'm sorry, Brookie. Anyway, I have to tell you what I found in the bathroom. What? What is that? It's Kim's diary. And look at this. What? She was bullied? Uh-oh. Oh, that explains a lot. Oh, my God. Heather, Hannah, you guys wear the same shirt. That's such a loser move. What? Hannah, I told you I was wearing this sweater today. Whatever. You should go change. Or you can't be in our group anymore. Uh-oh. What? No, this is, I got this sweater first. You go change. If you want to be a baddie like us and stay in our group, I suggest you go home and change your shirt right now. You can't copy another baddie. That makes you a loser. Fine. <gasps> Is this better, baddies? Yeah, you look super adorable. You can be in our club. Thanks. <coughs> well, 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 look who it is. Kimmy, 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 the loser. Uh-oh. Hey, guys, um, I was wondering, could I maybe be a part of your baddie club? <laughs> Is she for real? Listen, Shorty, I don't think so. We don't let losers into our baddie club. Oh, well, um, I can be baddie. <laughs> Look at my outfit today. Super baddie, right? <laughs> you have braces. Loser. You have ugly clothes. Loser. You're super short and weird looking. Loser. Um, okay. Well, I guess I don't have to be. <laughs> Bye, loser. Yeah, bye. Cry 
cry like a baby. Cry, cry, cry. Oh, look who it is. The loser's back. Oh, hey, guys. Um, Look, it's pizza day. Oh, pizza. The only thing I have for lunch is my double latte. And I have a Diet Coke. Duh. But the pizza's delicious. Whatever. Loser. Loser. You're definitely going to have pizza stuck in your braces. I guess, I guess I'll just go to the bathroom and hide and eat my pizza. Someday, I'm going to be the baddie and no one will mess with me. OMG, she was bullied by a group of baddies. I know, maybe we can try to talk some sense into her. Explain to her that we're good people. We're not baddies, we're not villains. Especially not in her story. Come on, Brookie, I think this might work. I don't know, Molly, she seems kind of... Where have you two been? Um, look, Kim, uh, I know that you were, well, probably bullied. What? Why would you say that? Did you read my diary? Uh-oh, that backfired. Uh, Molly, what should we do now? Uh, uh, uh. That's it. You three are going to see what kind of baddie I really am. <laughs> and you three can think about what you did. You can't just lock us up in here. Hey, hey. It's no use, Molly. Well, I think it's safe to say that your new nanny is completely and utterly psycho. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. Okay, your nanny is psycho. Your nanny is crazy. Your nanny is bonkers! Oh no, what are we gonna do? Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. Wait for your mom. But don't worry, I brought these Doritos. Molly? What, I'm always thinking of my stomach. Cranberry stuck in prison would just drool. Have to have something delicious. Well, I guess there's a party in here. But Molly! No eating bean burritos! You stick the whole cell up. Don't worry. I didn't put any bean burritos in my pocket. <laughs> oh, man. How did I get stuck with this baddie nanny? Oh. <laughs>
and get some pimple cream and, and everything will be okay. God, uh, I hope no one else sees me. I'm gonna have to put on a disguise or something because I don't want anybody to see me like this. Ugh, I feel so yucky! Ooh. Uh, that's better. No one's gonna recognize me like this. There you are, sleepyhead. What are you wearing? I need to go to the store and I need some money. What? No, I just gave you your allowance yesterday. Yeah, but I already spent that on something else called Robux. But I have an emergency, Mom. I need to go to the store. What? Are you out of toilet paper in your bathroom again? Don't worry, I have some extra rolls. Mom, no! I, I just, I can't talk about it. It's embarrassing. You can talk to me about anything, sweetie. And also, I'm not giving you money till you tell me what's happening. Mom, come on! Look closely at my face. Whoa! Molly, what happened? My thoughts exactly. What happened to me overnight? Some sort of, some sort of evil mutation of my face. Oh, Molly, you need zit cream. O-M-G. You know what we used to use it back in my day? Toothpaste. <laughs> it was a free remedy, by the way. Mom, I'm not putting toothpaste all over my face. No, really, it does. It dries up the pimples in like a week. Everything's all gone. A week? Mom, are you kidding? Some guy told me a bunch of ugly jokes this morning when I took out the trash. He goes to my school. He's, he's going to tell everybody I look like this. Uh, okay, Molly, I'll give you like $30. You can pick up some stuff at the store. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Okay, I just need to get in and out real quick. Hopefully no one's in here shopping this early. I don't want to be seen like this. Things I need to get rid of my pimples. Um, well, these potato chips are really important. Not to get rid of the pimples, but because I feel terrible and I want to eat potato chips. Hairspray, paper towels, laundry soap. Where's the sick cream? Oh, God. Don't tell me they're out. No! You have to have zit cream. My life's gonna be over if I don't get rid of these pimples. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, what can I do for you? Um, I was wondering if you had any zit cream. Pit cream? Oh, why do you have really smelly armpits? Uh, we do have some extra strength in the back. No, 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 no. Not pit cream. Zit cream. Oh, for pimples! Could you have said that any louder? Everybody in the store is going to hear. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we have some in the back. It just came in. New shipment and all. Okay, I'll go get you some, okay, honey? Ooh, looks like you need it real bad. Gee, thanks. Hold it right there. Huh, what? Me? Yeah, you set off the alarms. I'm going to need to look inside your bag. What? Uh, no, I didn't steal anything, officer. Um, I, I... I just need to go home right now, and, uh, yeah, I just need to go home, like, right now. Sorry, but it's our policy that we have to check everyone's bag if the alarm goes off. Now show me what's inside your bag. Uh, everyone in the store is looking, though. Can uh, we just not? No. Would you like to be arrested? What? No. Why would you arrest me? Well, because I don't know if you stole something or not until you let me look in your grocery bag. Um, let me just try going through the thing again. Maybe it won't beep this time. Ugh, why didn't she take the security label off my sick cream? Hold it! Oh, okay, fine. Oh, okay, it's just zit cream. No big deal. You did pay for this, right? Let me see your receipt. Ugh, how humiliating! Time to get rid of these pimples. I hope. Ugh, this smells kind of funny. Well... Here goes nothing. Say goodbye, ugly pimples. I'm about to have my baddie makeover. Marley, I have to go to the bathroom. Could you get out of there now? Dizzy, I'm busy. Marley, I have to go. Molly, let your sister go to the bathroom. Mom, this is important. She could use the other toilet. No, I can't, Marley. It's broken. Ugh, my sister is so annoying. Molly, let her go to the bathroom. She has to go. She could go down to the store and go. Molly, that's like three miles away. Let her go to the bathroom. Holy guacamole. What happened to you? It looks like someone made pizza on your face. Ugh, Daisy, just hurry up. Uh-oh, Molly's grumpy. She's got pimples. Even my sister is teasing me. Uh, the girl at the supermarket recommended this thing to me, but it looks really weird. Let me read the back so I can see the directions. Put 
nozzle over pimple and it will suck it off of your face. What? What kind of craziness is this? Oh, that feels so weird. Oh wait, I think it's working. There, my pimple should be gone. What? This thing cost me a ton of money and it didn't work. What a piece of junk. Time to call in some reinforcements. Watch where you're going, loser. Nice pimple face. Oh, look at that baddie. She was so pretty. That's it. I'm going to be a baddie. I'm going to be the baddiest baddie you've ever seen. Oh, my God. Did you see that girl outside? Oh, she is terrifying. Ugh, she talking about me? Yes, girl. I'm talking about you. Get yourself into this salon and get a makeover. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, Molly, for an appointment with Debbie? Oh, Debbie. <laughs> uh, so you got your appointment last minute? Yeah, why? Is Debbie not good? Oh, I'm sure Debbie will be just fine. You'll see. Uh, how many star reviews did she get on Google? Oh, girl, anything's going to make you look better at this point. Oh, thanks, Betty. Mm -hmm, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, so I'm here for my, um, uh, my hair highlight and also, um, I could really use some new extensions. Do you have an appointment? No, of course I don't. I'm a baddie. I don't need an appointment. This girl got an appointment? Well, I mean, she has a pretty sad case. She probably needs the appointment worse than I do, but... Hey, are you Molly? Uh, yeah. Who are you? I'm Debbie. Oh. Um. Gee! Come on over and sit in my chair. We'll see what we can do to make you real pretty. Um... I'm not really sure uh, you know how to make someone look pretty. What? I've been a hairstylist for 30 years. I know every trick there is in the book, including how to get rid of those pimples. Um, if you say so. Oh boy, I think this day's about to get worse. So, uh, what brings you in? Um, how about the fact that I have pimples all over my face? Ooh. Oh, yeah. That is the worst, isn't it? That's just a part of being, well, human. Yeah, I guess. Except for she doesn't have any. That's because I'm, like, so perfect. Yeah, we can all see that. So, sweetie, I'm just going to put a little bit of toothpaste on your face, all right? What? That's what my mom said to do. Yeah, well, she's right. Toothpaste will dry up those zits real quick. You just watch. She said it would take a week. Nah, you have to use the extra strength whitening. That'll fix them right up. <laughs> there you go. Whoa, that one right there's a juicy one. So much better. Now, let's see what we can do with that hair and makeup. Oh, girl, you're going to look like such a baddie when I'm done with you. I hope so. Um, why don't you ever make yourself up as a baddie? Oh, <laughs> I'm too busy taking care of everybody else in the salon. I don't really have time to do my own makeup. Oh, yeah, I bet you're really busy. Oh, look at that. You look amazing. Now let's do your hair. Girl, you're perfect. Now go slay in some new batty clothes. Really? Are my pimples gone? <laughs> your pimples are non-existent. And your batty is turned all the way up. Wow. Thanks, Debbie. I guess I really underestimated you. No problem. Can't always judge a book by its cover now, can ya? No, you really can't. I'm about to show the world my bad side. All right, let's see. What would a baddie wear? Um, uh, ooh, cute. But no. No, not baddie enough. Definitely not baddie enough. Ooh. Um, oh my gosh. This is the first time I've been a baddie. How do I know how to be a baddie? These are pretty perfect. And 
Let's see what else should I pick. This is pretty cute. Yeah, look at me. I'm adorable. Wow. I mean, I'm not adorable. I'm bad. I'm so bad. Wait a minute. This outfit is not bad enough. I gotta be a. I gotta be a super baddie. An uber baddie. Yeah, slay, girl, slay. I am the best baddie in Roblox. Whoa. Who are you? Beat it, bacon hair. Fine. I quit Roblox. Whoa, who's that girl? New baddie in town. That's right, and don't you forget it. Oh, I hope she'd go to the dance with me. Not a chance, loser. Look at you in your Hello Kitty pajamas. I don't think so. Is that how a baddie's supposed to be? I think so. OMG, baddie, look at you. You're slaying it. Do you want to be a part of our baddie club? No. Ooh. Unless I could be the head baddie. Um, well, that's my job. Well, look at you in your shark. What are those shoes? Slippers? I don't even know. You do not get to be with the popular boy, and you do not get to be head of the baddie club. That's me. <gasps> um, uh, can I still be in the club, though? Yeah, except for I'm the best baddie in Roblox. Oh, look at you. You think you're the best baddie around? Yeah, because I am the best baddie. Who do you think you are? I am the oldest baddie ever. I am amazing at being a baddie. <laughs> Not as amazing as me. Why do you keep, like, changing your clothes? You trying to prove something? No, I don't need to prove that I'm the best baddie. I think you do. I think you don't even really know how to be a baddie. Yeah, look at this shirt. And look at this one. Uh, that was the same shirt. You probably wore that yesterday. Loser! Well, what about this one? This one's cool, right? No, also loser. I have the matching pajama bottoms. Ah, you're not wearing any clothes. What are you doing? Well, I was just trying to show you that I'm the best baddie around. There's no baddie like a Molly baddie. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, don't worry about a thing. I'm gonna be like a new mom for her. Okay, I, I really hope she accepts you. Don't worry. <laughs> Everything will be fine, Lou. Hey, everybody. I'm making this snap because I just found out my dad has a new girlfriend already. Her name is Karen. She owns Karen's drive through downtown. And I always heard she's like, ugh, terrible. And, well, I'm not sure that I want anyone to take my mom's place ever. Okay, well, that's all. If you think this was bad, you should see what happens in a couple of weeks when my dad decides to move Karen into our house. And then he gives me the biggest, worst announcement. Finally, some time away from my new roommate, Karen. Honey, where are you, Brookie? Oh, there you are, sweetie. Hey, um, I, I gotta tell you something. Oh, is it that Karen's moving out? Yay! What? No. Uh, honey, uh, are you having a problem with Karen? Well, actually, Dad, I was thinking that maybe it could be just... Hi! <laughs> are you ready, honey? Let's make our announcement to her. I can't wait to be your new mommy. Oh, uh, Karen, maybe now's not such a good time. It's a perfect time, Lou. <laughs> Brookie, we're getting married. Ah! Wait, what? I don't know what to say. Say you're excited for us. <laughs> Your dad and I are going to live happily ever after. Honey, are you okay? Sweetie, I want you to be okay with this. Of course she's okay with it, Lou. Who wouldn't want a new mommy after all the bad things that have happened? We're going to be BFFs, Brookie. I already have a BFF. Her name is Molly. Honey, just try to be nice to Karen. She's going to be your stepmom from now on. I, I, uh, uh. Bye, sweetie. I have to go to work, but I'm sure you and Karen were going to have the best day ever while I'm gone. Uh huh. Sure, Dad. I just miss Mom. I wish she was here right now. Oh, bye, bye, Lou. Have a great day. <laughs> Do you think that you're gonna just sit around and be lazy when I'm here? What? What are you talking about, Karen? You will call me mother. No, I won't. I'm not calling you mother. Excuse me, I wanna go to the kitchen and get a snack. You aren't going anywhere. You want to earn a snack? Clean these floors now. Wait, what? That's right, I don't need you just sitting around here being lazy all day. When I'm here, what I say goes. You can't talk to me like this. I'll tell my dad. And ruin the little bit of happiness he has? Oh, you selfish little spoiled brat. Ow! Well, she has a point. My dad does seem really happy with Karen. I guess I'll do what you say, Karen. Good. Start doing all these chores, you brat. Okay. Uh, Karen, I finished all my chores. Um, could I go outside and get some fresh air now? No. Now you can make me a snack and then go to your room and be quiet. Um, okay, I'll make you a snack. Here you go, Karen. I made you a whole pizza. Is that good? Wow. Yeah, it'll do. But, um, did you put carbs in that? Well, yeah, it's pizza. It has lots of carbs. Ugh, fine. I guess I'll eat it. But you better try harder for my afternoon snack. Now go to your room. Um, okay. Oh my god. This is the worst life ever. I, I just don't even want to live in this house anymore. It's so terrible. <laughs> I miss my mom. I have the worst life ever right now. <laughs> I wonder who that is. <laughs> hey there, BFF. What's up? Hey, Molly. I'm so sad. I guess talking to your BFF is the best thing to do when you're having problems. My dad is 
marrying Karen. And she's, well, a Karen. She's mean. And, and crazy. <laughs> well, you have to tell your dad. I can't. He's so happy. Rookie, are you in your room? Or are you in the bathroom? You better not be using my curling iron. Ugh, gotta go. Where are you? I can't even find you. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I can hide from Karen. If I hide from her, she can't find me. Then she can't be mean to me anymore. Molly, help. Are you seriously on your phone? Did I approve you being on your phone? Who on earth could that be? Go answer the door. Um, okay, stepmother. I didn't say you could call me stepmother. I said you should call me mother. <laughs> DoorDash for Karen. Molly, Shh, just play along. <laughs> she doesn't know what I look like. What? DoorDash? Who ordered this? I did. That's why I was on my phone. Because you said the lunch was really terrible. So I decided to or order you some gluten-free options from DoorDash. With my own money, of course. Mm. Well, I guess you're just trying to get on my good side. Which is a good thing. Because I'm your new mother. I'm going to go eat my snack. Okay, I'll just let the DoorDash person out. Molly, hurry, come on. Come up to my room. Whoa, your stepmom is like evil. She's not my stepmom yet. Brookie, why do you keep laying it down? Are you needing a nap or something? No, it's this game. It always glitches. It makes me try to lay down. Um, okay. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. We have to get you out of here, but how? I think, um, we could try to sneak out. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, um, let me see what I have in my bag to help us sneak out of here. Yeah, because I don't think these windows actually open. Ugh, Roblox. Why don't you make windows that open so I can get out? Ooh. Uh, yeah, sorry. I don't have anything in my bag except for, well, a half-eaten cupcake from yesterday, an old piece of gum, and... Okay, yeah. Molly, that's okay. You don't have to tell me everything. Well, I also had some toilet paper in there. Toilet paper? Why? Because one time I went to Walmart and I had to go to the bathroom and they didn't have any toilet paper. Oh, oh why did I eat that bean burrito? Wait a minute. W -w where's the toilet paper? Oh my God. Oh my God, there's no toilet paper. Oh! <laughs> Man, that was a terrible memory. Thanks for asking me to relive it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I see why you care to carry toilet paper with you everywhere you go. Yeah, pretty much. All right, let's just sneak out, Brookie. I'm sure your evil soon-to-be stepmom or whatever, evil Karen, whatever you want to call her, won't even notice. She'll be too busy chowing down on the food I brought. Molly, be super careful. Our house is very old. The floors squeak. Yeah, we don't want to get caught. Exactly. I see the door. We can get out of here. Is somebody there? Uh-oh! Caught! Hide! Where are you, Brookie? Ugh, really? Did you think you were going to trick me with that hiding spot? Well, our house doesn't really have any hiding places, but wouldn't it be fun to play hide-and-seek? Mother? <laughs> ha! Ha! Ah, shoo! What was that? Was that the DoorDash person? Um, yeah. Wait a minute. You look like the picture I've seen of Brookie's BFF in her bedroom. Uh -oh. Is your name Molly? Um, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> I also work for DoorDash. Yeah, that's it. I think you're both liars. You want to know what? You want to play hide and seek? Great. If I find you after five minutes of hiding, you're grounded for life. Uh-oh. Molly, where should we hide? I think we should split up. Then at least one of us will get grounded and not the other. And maybe the other one can go get your dad or whatever. Oh, 
Oh, I don't know. I don't want to be split up from you, Molly. We have to, Rookie. Good luck. Thanks, Molly. You too. I never realized how terrible my house is for hide and seek. Ooh. Where should I go? Where should I go? The time is ticking. The time is ticking. <gasps> I know. I have a good spot, I think. Okay. Um, I just, I need to lay down. And then I can hide in those bushes, I think. Uh, let me see. Uh, that should work, right? Okay, let's see if I can just, like, over here, like this. Like, oh, I'm sticking out too far. Oh, my God. Maybe these bushes over here. <laughs> Look how I'm going across the ground. That looks really weird. Guys, um, maybe this bush over here. 20 seconds till I ground you for life. Oh, God. I don't think you can see me here. Oh, no, you can still see me a little bit. I think this is the best bush to hide in over here. I don't know if I could just turn my body a certain way. This would work perfectly. Wait, 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 wait. Wow, my God. Okay, my legs are still hanging out. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, rookie, good luck. Hmm. Where are you, girl? I want to ground you for the rest of your life. Oh, she stepped on my finger. Ow! Don't scream, Brookie. Don't scream. Hmm. Seems I can't find her. She's very good at this game. But I'll never give up and never surrender. Bratty, spoiled kids. Can't even believe how bratty they are. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Achoo! Ugh, allergies! Ha, ha, ha. Found you, brat. Now you're grounded for life. Ooh. Wait, what? I, 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 I didn't mean to, to, to cause any trouble and grounded for life. Wait a minute. Uh, you're not my mom. What? But I'm a grown up. So I can decide if you're grounded or not. Uh, no. Also, no and no. You're not my mom, so you don't get to ground me. Get a clue, Karen. She's distracted with Molly. Maybe if I jump on this trampoline, I can jump high enough to get over the fence in the backyard and run to my dad. It worked! Oh my gosh, I just need to run as fast as I can. I see the town! I see the town! Where do you think you're going? Oh, oh, Karen, um, uh... I found you. And now you're grounded for life! Seriously, Karen, get out of my way! I don't think so. I'm your mother now. So call me... Mother. Oh man, I'm gonna be late, I'm gonna be late. Excuse me, Cece, excuse me, Kendra. That's my locker you're standing in front of and I need to get my book so that I'm not late for class. Uh, is someone actually talking to us, Kendra? Nah, it was just an annoying fly buzzing around. What, no, no, it was me, excuse me, move. You don't tell the baddies to move. You wait till we're done. Oh, um, gee! Oh, okay, I'll just try to squeeze by you then. Oh, that loser touched me. Well, if you'd move out of the way, um, you guys might want to move out of the way though, because when I open my locker door, it's totally going to hit you in the head. What? This girl is so annoying. Come on, Kendra. Let's go check out our hair in the bathroom mirror. Yeah, totally. Ugh. The baddies at my school are, well, super, super bad. Whoa, my new school. Hopefully everybody likes me. <laughs> come on, locker, open. Ugh. Come on. Okay, there we go, finally. This locker has been broken since the day they assigned it to me. Oh, hi. Are you a new student? Yeah, <laughs> um, I, I am, and I'm not really sure where my locker is. It's number 122. Oh, that locker's right next to mine. Hopefully yours actually opens. Seriously? Will I have a locker that isn't open? That happened at my old school, and like literally it made me so scared and nervous every day that I wasn't going to be able to get my stuff out of it. Yeah, that's how I was at the beginning of the school year, but don't sweat it. I kind of know a trick to get it open. Watch this. Um, are you supposed to be beating up the locker? Trust me, these lockers are really old. They deserve it! <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> they just never work. They're, they're very naughty lockers. 
open already! My name's Molly. Um, if you want, you can be friends with me. I can tell you who the baddies are in our school and who the bullies are and who the nice ones are and... Oh, thanks. You sound really nice, Molly. My name's Alex. Hi, Alex. Nice to meet you. So, uh, what's your first class? Um, according to my paper, it says math. Me too. This teacher's kind of a snore. But don't worry. I'll be sitting next to you, so I'll make you laugh. Thanks, Molly. Sounds like we're going to be really good friends. I was really nervous that people wouldn't like me here. Or they'd make fun of my braces or glasses or, or the fact that I like this shirt and stuff. Nah, look at my shirt. I've got a unicorn on it. Unicorns are awesome. <laughs> you really are funny. Come on, Alex. We don't want to be late. Yo, Cece. Who's that loser sitting by the other loser? Excuse me. Um, My name is not loser. It's Miss Loser. Turn around. Your breath smells like a rotten egg. What? No, it doesn't. I used mouthwash this morning. Okay, well, your face is really annoying me. Um, uh, how can I have an annoying face? You just do. Sit down, loser. Wow, the baddie club is, well, very mean. I noticed. I hope they don't see me and pick on me. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll bully you, but you get used to it. I know, right? That's what I said. I really like him. I hope he asks me to the dance. <laughs> Okay, class, okay, phone's away. Uh, you two in the back. You get rid of your coffee, you get rid of your cell phone, or you can meet me in detention. Uh, okay, I'll talk to you later. My teacher is so annoying. I heard that. Psst, hey, you dork. Are they talking to me, Molly? Um, I'm afraid so, Alex. Yeah, you dork. Meet me at my locker at the end of this class. I want to see if you're baddie material. Sounds like they want to put you in their club. Wow, it's very elite. I know I can't be in it. Really? Wow, I get to be in the baddie club? That's amazing. Brittany, where were you? Sorry, Cece. I um was late for school because I overslept and... Uh, you weren't there in math class, and we have to see if this new girl is, well, <laughs> batty club material. <laughs> what are you guys laughing about? Is she really material or not? <laughs> Wait till you see her. <laughs> You're going to have a blast with this one, Brittany. Uh-oh. I can't believe this girl is actually making us wait. What's her problem? Yeah, she doesn't make the baddie club wait. Who's that dork? That is the person we might be putting in the baddie club. <laughs> you are hilarious, Kendra and Cece. <laughs> this girl be a part of the baddie club? Hi, I'm Alex. I'm new here. <laughs> and I'm only going to have braces for like two years, so please don't tease me about them. I want to have perfect smile and... My dentist said I needed them and I need these glasses, but at some point I'm going to get contacts and I swear I'm much cooler than I look. I'm really nice. Uh-oh. Seriously, girls, this is almost too easy. Well, take it away then, Brittany. You are a loser. You could never be a baddie like us. Our club is very exclusive for the prettiest and baddest girls at Brookhaven High. What? Oh, I, I thought you wanted me to be in your club. <laughs> you could never be in our club, loser. Mm. Mm, I'm sure I can fit just one more slice in. Mm. This school pizza, it's delicious. Wow. Uh-oh. Why did I try to put that extra piece of pizza in? Oh. <laughs> Gotta make it to the bathroom! Oh. <laughs> um, uh, Alex, are you okay out there? Let's see, kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I know, my farts are kind of smelly, but um, you don't have to cry about it. You can just leave. No, it's that <laughs> the baddie club didn't want me to be in their group. Huh, what? They, they said I was a loser. 
that's not very nice of them, but I guess I should have expected that. They're so rude. Don't listen to them, Alex. You're so nice. Don't listen to who? <gasps> Look at it. It's the new loser. Oh, she's so ugly and she's a loser. Hey, rude. You're a loser too. Get out of here. Alex, don't listen to them. I'm a loser. I knew it. <sighs> I have to help my new friend. I just have to. Well, 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 you decided to come back another day to have the baddies tell you you're a loser again? Oh, I'm sure it is yesterday. Gross. Are you poor? Do you even have any money? I mean, how many outfits do you have? One. I just really like this shirt, so I got two of them for Christmas because I love them so much. Oh, this girl is such a loser, Kendra. <laughs> Not as big of a loser as I am. What? Who is that? Oh, look at their face. They're such a nerd, a dork, a loser. Molly, is that you? Who's Molly? <laughs> I'm Leonard. <laughs> um, well, Leonard, you are the ugliest dork I've ever seen. Molly, what are you doing? Trust me, I'm just taking the attention away from you. Go be yourself. Molly, thank you. No problem. Now, let me have your worst. I can take it. Loser, ugly, four eyes. Oh, you smell smelly. Oh, this is a hard job to have. Do you think you're the first bully I've ever come across? <laughs> I don't think so. I've been getting bullied since preschool, so nothing you say can bother me. I'm rubber and you're glue. Whatever you say bounces off me and sticks to you. What are you in preschool? <laughs> really? Maybe. Smell this. Uh oh. Ew, gross, you little brat. <laughs> Molly, you didn't have to do that for me. That's what friends are for. And honestly, they don't really bother me that much, Alex. They're just rude. And I think that they just, I don't know, think that they could feel better about themselves by being mean to other people. But it really just shows that they have really cold and cruel hearts. You never, ever want to be a part of the baddies club. They're just rude villains. Well, thank you for being such a good friend to me. I mean, seriously, I didn't know what to do when I had to come to a new school. I was really scared and well, you've been a really good friend. Hey, no problem. I have another idea too. What? Eat pizza you pulled out of your pocket? Ew. <laughs> I'm saving that for later because it was so good at lunch today. Mm. Want some? Uh, no. I'm okay. I don't eat any pizza that was stuffed in your pocket all day. Ew. Yeah. A little bit of the cheese stuck to my leg, but you know, I don't care. Um, Molly, what are you doing? I'm texting, uh, Cece. What? What? She's a part of the baddie club. Uh, why are you texting her? Because <laughs> I'm pretending to be her crush, Lucas. <gasps> Molly. Hey, if she can be a baddie, so can't I. <laughs> Meet me here in 15 minutes. Perfect. Now, what I need you to do is go over there and hide behind that tree and Snapchat this. Really, Molly? Are you sure about this? <laughs> I've never been so sure about anything in my whole life. Ooh. I'm all ready to Snapchat, Molly. Great. <laughs> today at lunch, I heard Lucas and his friends say they were going to play basketball at the park today. <laughs> Perfect. Lucas, hi. You wanted to meet me and talk to me? Huh? What? Who, who are you? Oh, very funny. I'm the leader of the baddie club. Cece, duh. <laughs> you gonna ask me to dance? Huh? You don't have to be afraid. Uh, of course I'd go with you. What are you talking about? Uh, I don't want to go to the dance with you. I don't even know you. Uh-oh. There you are, Pookie Snooky Wookie Pookie. I, I was looking for you everywhere, honey. Who's this? <gasps> Is this your boyfriend? <laughs> what? 
No, this is just some dork from school. I don't know them. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Cece. We've been dating for six months. Ah! <laughs> this is a match made in heaven. <laughs> I know, right? Come on, sweetie. Let's look cute for the camera. Oh, my God. I'm mortified. Ah! <laughs> Wait, what just happened? I got it, Molly. I Snapchatted that. <laughs> Looks like she's not the only baddie in town. Oh, Molly, you can be the leader of the baddies if you really wanted to. Nah, I don't really need to be bad. But it sure felt good to give her a taste of her own medicine for a change. I'm glad she's not going to bully you anymore. Pretty sure she is going to be hiding in her bedroom for at least a month. Thanks, Molly, for sticking up for me. No problem, Alex. <laughs> ah, baddies club look out there's a new baddie in town now uh oh <laughs>lately between schoolwork, all of my clubs at school, and all of the chores my parents are having me do. I need a serious vacation. I just need to watch some TV and chill out for a while. As Molly says, get my lazy on. <sighs> Good morning, Brittany. Oh, hey, Lou. I want to tell everybody out there in Brookhaven land that we have an amazing awesome totally cool competition coming up wow really what's the company competition <laughs> well we are sending three baddies on an amazing luxury vacation but you have to be one of the three baddest baddies in all of town <gasps> wow when does this competition start Today at noon at the fountain, if you are one of the three picked, you get to go on an amazing luxury baddie vacation. Wow, sounds amazing. Too bad I have to tell the news to everybody every day, or I definitely enter the competition. What? No, you're too big of a dork. Sorry. <gasps> Whoa, baddie, making fun of the... The, the news guy. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna leave now. I'm totally embarrassed. You totally roasted me. Yeah, that's what we baddies do. OMG! I could win a vacation? That would be amazing! I could totally use one of those. <laughs> I just have to be a baddie? Mm, that can't be too hard, right? Hello? Molly, it's me, Bricky. Hey, Bricky. What's going on? You coming over to hang out? Um, I can't today, Molly. I'm entering a competition. Did you watch the news today? No. I was busy sleeping and then eating snacks. What's going on? What kind of competition is it? Well, I saw in the news that they're having a baddie competition. And if you're one of the three baddest baddies, you get to go on a free luxury vacation. All expenses paid. But, uh, Bricky, do you know anything about being a baddie? Um, not really, but how hard could it really be? I don't know anything about being a baddie, except I'm kind of bad when I don't do my homework or my chores or eat too many bean burritos and fart a lot. <laughs> well, good luck, Brookie. Thanks. I don't think I'm going to need luck, though. I'm going to be the baddest baddie in Brookhaven. Wow. That would be amazing. How hard could it really be to be a baddie? I mean, all you have to do is change my clothes and put on some makeup, and then I'll be the baddest baddie in all of Brookhaven. Let's see, what would a baddie wear? Maybe if I type in baddie, something will come up. No results found! Ooh. I have to do this all on my own then, I guess. This is perfect. Now I need to do my makeup. Look at it! I look amazing! OMG! <laughs> I'm the baddest baddie there ever was. Time to go win this competition. Look! <laughs> How cute. Brookie showed up trying to win the baddie competition. There's a baddie club in this town, and the three of us are going on that vacation. Um, 
Um, yeah, but I can at least try. I mean, the competition is open to any Brookhaven resident. And, well, I live here, so I get to try. Did you really think that that outfit would make you win and become a baddie? Uh, yeah? I think it's really cute. You don't? No, loser. You look like, well, a loser. <gasps> wow. Harsh. Better learn how to talk like us. That's what baddies do. We're bad. Duh. You're way too sweet and nice to ever be a baddie. Well, um, I could try to be rude. How about this one? Um, you smell. What? What did you say? Oh, you smell like flowers. I never smelled anything so pretty before. What's that perfume? <laughs> That's what I thought. You'll never be a baddie. Yes, I will. I'll be a great baddie. You just wait and see. First up, we have Brookie showing off her baddie style. Work it, girl, work it. Yeah, I'm a baddie. You know I'm a baddie. I also want a free vacation, so I guess I'm going to be the baddiest of the bad right now. You guys are so ugly. I've never seen anyone so ugly as you guys. You wish you could be as pretty as me. What? I won? OMG! I get a free luxury vacation. What? She stole one of our slots. Now one of us baddies can't go on the vacation. Oh, she's going to pay for this. OMG! Look at this place is amazing. Look at this vacation house on a private island. Being a baddie is not so bad after all. Seriously? Oh my god, there's a workout room in here? This person must have so much money. OMG, you can see the pool through the garage? Wow. I feel like I'm in an aquarium. This is amazing. Oh, wow! Look at the view of the ocean and an infinity pool. Yes, please! Oh, my life is the best ever right now. OMG, Tiffany, would you look at that? Someone pooped in the pool. They did? Ew! No, turd. We're talking about you. You're the poop. What? That's not very nice. Why would you say that? You can't ruin my vacation like that. Duh. We're baddies. We say mean, rude things because we're baddies. Composer, if you're going to be a baddie, you need to learn something. You get to say whatever you want, whenever you want. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm not going to let you ruin my free luxury vacation. This pool is amazing. The view is amazing. The sun is shining on my face, sort of melting off my baddie makeup. But, you know, it's a good day. Mm -hmm. We'll see about that, loser. I'm getting kind of hungry. I wonder if DoorDash delivers here. <laughs> Silly me. DoorDash delivers everywhere. Sweet and sour chicken, check. <gasps> One egg roll, check. Don't forget my fortune cookie, please. Ah, this is the life. What's going on? A helicopter? Oh, must be that. That's how they deliver DoorDash <laughs> when you're on the Brookhaven Island. So cool. I feel famous. DoorDash, here with your delivery. Oh my god, look at this loser. Why were you allowed on the cool girl island? Um, because I was delivering the DoorDash someone here ordered. Well, I didn't order DoorDash, neither did I. Well, somebody did, and it smells really good, so can you just pay me my tip so I can leave? You think you deserve a tip? Did you hear that, Kendra? She thinks she deserves a tip. What? <laughs> You're a loser. You're ugly for us. Of course, we'd never give you a tip. Um, okay. Well, you didn't have to be so mean about it. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> What's going on over here? Are you okay? No. Your friends are being so mean to me. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> They're not my friends. But you guys all seem alike. Yeah, but I'm not like them. I'm just sort of pretending to be a baddie so that I could get a free luxury vacation. It's a long story, but, um, come on. Everything's going to be fine. 
You can just leave my food over there on the counter and I'll walk you out. Ugh, look, the loser ordered DoorDash. You guys are being so rude. How could you talk to her that way? You don't even know her. Come on, I'll walk you out. I'm so sorry they were so rude to you. Thanks. I just really hurt my self-esteem. Here's an extra $50. Um, just because I feel so bad they were so mean to you. I'm just an amazing person. Thank you. Just so you know, I'm never going to deliver DoorDash here ever again. Ugh, I know. I'm sorry. They're so rude. I'm sorry. Hey, are you eating my DoorDash food? What? Yeah, it's almost all gone. It's delicious. Well, you could have asked. I mean, I would have shared. <laughs> Share? There's none left for you. But I'm hungry. Why would you do that? Duh, have you not learned yet? You definitely couldn't be a part of the baddies club. We're baddies. Get a clue. We do rude, mean things. And if you want to be a part of the club, you need to learn to how to be that way too. Um, I don't think I want to be a part of your club. This vacation wasn't at all what I thought it was going to be. You're rude, you're mean, and you guys have really ugly hearts. What? Did you just call us ugly? Well, no. Your faces are really pretty and you seem to look perfect. But on the inside, you're rotten to the core. Oh, uh, too bad I don't care about what's on the inside. Nobody sees that. What? Everybody sees that. Get out of here, loser. This vacation isn't for you. You're right. I'd rather be home in my PJs, hanging out with my best friend, than to hang out with you guys. You're just rude. Bye. Bye, loser. I can't believe how much this place has changed since we were kids. I know, Luke. I can't believe we're all grown up now. Yeah, and about to have a family of our own. <laughs> By the looks of your tummy, any minute. Oh, don't tease me. You know I've been craving peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with pickles. It's not me, though. It's the baby. Sure it is. You always did like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah, but not with pickles. Ew, gross. This baby wants to eat everything. Are you excited about touring her possible future nursery? I'm really excited about it, Molly. I think this could be a really good place for her to come to school. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's go meet the manager. I love you, honey. I love you too. No, come on. Let's go see if this is a good fit for our baby. Hi, welcome to Twilight Daycare. You must be Molly and Luke. Um, hi. Does someone need to turn your frown upside down? <laughs> Do you want to feel my belly? My baby's probably kicking right now. Uh, no, thank you. Sorry. I have three teachers out sick today, so I'm feeling a little stressed. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Honey, have a seat. You could have that baby at any moment. My husband is a little bit nervous about me having the baby at any second, if you couldn't tell. He's always telling me, rest! Don't get up too much! You you need to eat more food! Oh, he sounds like a very caring husband. So, do you have any questions to start off? Yes, are you nice? I think our teachers here are very nice. Okay, um, do you feed them snacks as well as lunch? We sure do. We feed them lots of healthy snacks. And if there's a birthday or Christmas or something, we have treats too, like cupcakes and things. Oh, that's perfect! Would you like to see some of the cool facilities we have here? Absolutely! Honey, quit jumping up and down. I'm telling you, you might give the baby a concussion. <laughs> you worry about everything, sweetie. Over here is where all the kids have so much fun playing with lots of different toys. And where you're going now, Molly, is the nursery where all the babies can take a night-night a, a and a nice little nap during their day. <laughs> This place is so adorable. Oh, look, honey. This is exactly what we have to look forward to. Crying babies and poopy diapers. Um, well, that sounds a little intimidating. Don't worry, Luke. I wouldn't have married you if I didn't think you were going to be the perfect dad. Oh. Well, honey, I don't know about perfect, but I'm certainly going to try to be the best dad I can. You will be, honey. You will be. Oh, thanks for saying that, honey. Uh, you're welcome. 
If you guys are done being lovey-dovey, I'd like to move on and show you the rest of the tour. Sure, Jenna, sorry about that. <laughs> We're just feeling very happy these days because my belly keeps growing every minute. Whoa, you weren't kidding. I swear, it just grew right in front of my eyes. Yeah, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to run into you. Oh, my tummy is just, it's just, it's everywhere. Wow, honey, I think you might have twins. No, no, the doctor said it's going to be just one girl. Well, is she going to weigh 50 pounds? Because your belly is getting bigger and bigger. I hope not. 50 pounds would be probably the biggest baby ever born. Oh, <laughs> we weren't going to come into the kitchen or anything. I know you weren't going to come into the kitchen, but I was. These cookies look delicious. Honey, you need to eat cookies right now. This baby is telling me it's starving. So yes, yes, I do need a cookie. Uh-oh, ran into the cookie jar with my gut. <laughs> my belly's so huge. Like, seriously, I can't even reach for the cookies. Like, look at me. Uh, my stomach's in the way. I can't reach the cookies. <laughs> Honey, didn't you want to take the daycare scooter? No, no. <sighs> Running's good for me. Keeps me in good shape. <laughs> My baby's going to be born super athletic. Honey, uh, you just won't rest, will you? Nah, although I am out of breath. This stomach of mine, whew, it's a lot to carry around. Wow, look at this place. They never had a fun house where we went to school. Yes, the kids love this place more than anything. It's their favorite place to come on recess. I can see why. Let's go inside. Holy macaroni and cheese! This place is amazing! I gotta look around. Oh, oh, oh. Honey, be careful. You know the baby. Yes, yes, I know the baby, the baby. Whee! The baby's having so much fun in my tummy right now! <laughs> I gotta do that again. That was so much fun. Come on, Luke! It's like when we were kids! Oh, I landed on my tummy! Ugh. I'm telling you, she's going to give our baby a concussion. I think your baby will be okay. It's all right, Luke. Look at these trampolines. They make you fly in the air. Whoa. Whoa. Honey, I don't think all that bouncing around is good for the baby. What? What are you talking about? I'm fine. Whoa. Honey, are you okay? It's the baby. I, I think she's coming. What? Are, are you serious? I told you not to jump on that trampoline. No, no, no. I think it's okay, but I think I, I'm going to have the baby. What are we going to do? The hospital that we picked is like 45 minutes away. Don't worry. We have a hospital here at Twilight Daycare. What? Seriously? You do? Well, by the looks of it, we need to rush my wife there right away. Yeah. Oh, this baby's coming out. Whether we're ready or not. Uh -oh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Are you ready to have some fun? No, my wife's going to have, go into, she's going to have a baby. That's what I meant to say. We don't have any time for hanging out here anymore. Oh, man. I really want to hang out with that unicorn mom, though, and, and play in the ball pit. That looks like so much fun. Molly, seriously, you're going to have a baby. Get serious. Okay, okay. I'm serious. For reals. I'm being serious. <gasps> no, look at my face. I'm, I'm being really serious. Molly, you don't look serious. You look like you're still dreaming about going into that ball pit. Okay, just one more time. Molly! Okay, okay, let's go have this baby. Sheesh. <sighs> Ow, I ran into the door! I'm too fat to get in. My belly's too big. Ugh, push me through. Okay, you're fine, Molly. You're in. Oh, look, look, there's the hospital. No one's working. Guess I'm not having this baby. Molly, are you afraid to have your baby? No, I'm just, I would rather hang out at the fun house. It looks so cool. Let's go back. Hi, I'm Daphne and I'm a doctor here. What can I do for you? My wife, she's, she's going into labor. Correction, I'm already in labor. Holy guacamole. Okay, I just need you to fill out these 50 papers, please. What? We don't have time for that. She's about to have this baby. Well, I know, but protocol is protocol. Please fill them out. Um, 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 I'll fill them out, honey. You go have the baby. Okay, meet you in there. Now, where is the maternity ward? Oh, found it. Why do they know my teachers need to know my teacher's name from first grade? That doesn't even make any sense. Everybody stop talking. I'm gonna have a baby. Wow, your tummy is impressively big. 
she's been eating a lot of peanut butter and jelly and pickle sandwiches. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we hear that a lot here. Okay, honey, well, now I just need you to push, Molly. <coughs> Congratulations, Molly. It's a beautiful baby girl. But I'm wondering if you have another baby in there. <gasps> no, 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 that's just the way my stomach is normally from eating too many peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> I really should start working out on the treadmill more. Where's my baby? We're going to take her to the nursery and check her out. We'll bring her back as soon as we determine if she's healthy. Honey, you did it. Congratulations. <coughs> Thank you. Oh, I can't wait to meet our little girl. I bet she's going to be amazing. Well, as soon as you're rested a little, we could go in and see her. I would love that. Attention, attention, baby nursery. The Acker family would like their baby brought into their room, please. Please bring in the baby Acker to the Acker family. Thank you. Oh no, I've got so many babies in beds right now that I have two extras that I don't even have beds for. Uh, which one was the baby Acker baby? They look exactly the same. Oh no, I'm gonna get fired. I just know I'm gonna bring them the wrong baby. Well, they won't know, right? I mean, <laughs> this looks like the right baby, right? I think. I uh oh! La la la, la la la. Here's your little girl. Have you decided what you're gonna name her? Whoa! Are you about to have another baby, Molly? Uh, no, they just came and served us pie, cake, all this delicious food, so I was really hungry. God, I ate a lot. <laughs> this is my ate too much belly. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, well, here's your little girl. What are you going to name her? We've decided to name her Maggie. Oh, that's an adorable name. Oh, thank you. Um, but wait, are, are you sure that one's ours? <laughs> You're so funny, Luke. Of course it's your baby. Um, are you sure? Yeah. Does she even have blonde hair? Oh, no. None of the newborns have a lot of hair yet. <laughs> you won't be able to tell that till much later when I'm no longer working here. Uh -oh. Okay, here's your baby. Aw, she's so adorable. Oh. She's not even crying or anything. That's so unlike me. <laughs> Well, maybe she takes after me more, Molly. You never know. Yeah, maybe. Oh, hi, Lucy. Uh, I just came back from work because my sweet little Maggie forgot her lunch. She never does that. Oh, I wanted to talk to you, Molly. You did? Has everything been okay? Is my baby okay? <gasps> she is so sweet and kind. It's almost like she's perfect. Wait, what? Uh, that doesn't sound like a kid of mine. But you are right. She is practically an angel. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Mommy. Oh, are you sad? I just need to go potty and I'm super hungry and thirsty. Well, why didn't you tell the caretaker? I didn't want to bother anybody. Oh, honey, that's really sweet, but you don't have to be that sweet all the time. I really do. I, I don't like... I don't like to bother anybody. I just, I just mind my own business. I'm, you're way too perfect to be my kid, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, whose kid is that? They're shooting paintballs at the TV. Oh yeah, that's Hannah. She's our little demon child. Hannah? Whoa, Hannah, you look just like me when I was little. Like identically. What do you want, old lady? <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you with a paintball next. Whoa, Hannah acts just like me. Wait a minute, she looks like me? <gasps> she acts like me? Hey, I, 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 I. <laughs> ah, you slimed me. <laughs> yep, that's definitely my daughter. But how do I prove it? What seems to be the problem, Mrs. Acker? I... I think that Hannah's my actual daughter. <gasps> Wait, what? What are you even talking about? This is crazy talk. <laughs> no. I came to Twilight Daycare to have my baby, and, well, this baby looks just like me and acts just like me. And Maggie doesn't. 
Maybe they switched us at birth, switched our babies at birth. Whoa, we did have a nurse that ended up quit quitting. Too much pressure. And she went off to be a model or a musician or something. I don't know. But anyway, we've heard of other babies being switched. O-M-G. Okay, time for a blood test. Okay, Hannah. I just need to check your blood to see if it matches Molly's. What? I don't want my blood taken. I swear I won't be naughty ever again. Uh-oh. Oh, it's not that you're in trouble, honey. It's that we think there has been a mix-up with your mom's. What? She's not really my mom? No, Maggie, I'll always be your mom, even if I am your adopted mom. But I think that Hannah might be my daughter, too. Blood-related. Okay, um, just um, hold still for a minute, and I'm going to check your blood now. Oh! <laughs> yep, that's definitely how I would have acted. Maggie, you don't have to be upset. I am upset. I'm not naughty enough, so I'm not your daughter. No, that's not true. I can have a demon and an angel for a daughter. <laughs> well, the results are in. Anna is, in fact, your daughter. I knew it! But now I don't have a mommy! Yes, you do. You both have mommies, so you both don't have to cry. Please, no, seriously. Both of you crying. It's gonna make me crazy! <laughs> I can't believe it. She's my mom. And she's kind of ugly. Hannah! Okay, yeah, I probably would have said that too. But I also say um things like cheesy macaroni. Do you say that? No. You're old. Okay. Um, are you sure the results were right? Do I have to take this one home? Yes, this is in fact your daughter. They were switched at birth. Oh um she And we're live in three, two, one, on air. Hello, citizens of Brookhaven. It's your favorite newscaster, Miley. Today, I have some very important breaking news. <sighs> Brookhaven has an outbreak of lyotomy. Lyotomy is where, when you catch it, you can't help but tell lies. Guys, stay in your houses. Don't leave. You do not want to catch lyotomy. Lyotomy? Oh my gosh. I hope I didn't catch it. I mean, I went to Starbucks after school today and and then and, and I didn't wash my hands before I ate my donut. Oh no. I'm sure I'm fine. I'm probably panicking about nothing. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I'm getting a little jumpy jumpy about that lyotomy. <laughs> Someone's at my door and I freaked out. Oh, it's Brookie! Hey Brookie, come on in! Hey Molly, it's good to see you. It's good to see you too. So, um, you here to hang out? Actually, Molly, um, I, I have to tell you a little bit of bad news. Uh oh! What? Bad news? What is it? Don't freak out. It's not as bad as it as you think. But I'm moving from Brookhaven. Wait, what? <laughs> moving from Brookhaven? No, no! I'm sorry, Molly, but it's true. I can't help it. My parents decided they're gonna move because my dad got a new job. Brookie, no! You're my best friend! You can't leave! Molly, it's okay. It's just a short car ride away. We're not like moving to California or something. Oh, thank goodness. But will you still go to my school? Yeah, I just won't live like right next door. Well, I'm actually not sure if I'm going to go to your school anymore. I have to check. But you won't be there all day then! Yeah, I know, but I'm sorry, Molly. I, I can't do anything about it. Ugh. Brookie... I'm so sad about this. Hey, did you watch the news? What? Why are you talking about the news right now? No, of course I didn't. I was on my way over here. I didn't have time to watch the news. Besides, the news is for old people. Duh. We just Google all of our information. Yeah, well, um, I saw something on there, but wait, what was it? Something important, but now I can't seem to remember it. Oh, well, <laughs> maybe it was about having amnesia because it seems like you have it. Nah, I don't think that's what it was about. Wait, do I have amnesia? <laughs> Molly, I'm just teasing. But hey, look, I gotta go home and pack. Brookie, you can't leave. No, I'm gonna stand in front of the door. You can't ever leave. Molly, don't be ridiculous. You know I have to leave. I I know that we're BFFs, but don't worry. We can still hang out with one another. 
I really hope so, Brookie. I really hope so! Um, because... I can't live without you! Yes! I- I can't- Aww. Really, Molly? Yeah, I- I- I'll get, like, super sick! I'll get green with illness! <coughs> oh my gosh! Molly, you're right! You are turning green! Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. My best friend, she can't move! Molly, you can come visit me every day after school, okay? Now please, turn back to your normal color! Okay, Brookie, but... But don't leave me for long! Wow! Brookie's parents are really rich! Hey, Molly! Come on in! Welcome to our new house! Holy macaroni and cheese! What kind of job did your parents get? A really good one! This town is so cool! Look, we even have our own movie theater! <gasps> Holy tacos and guacamole! Molly, so tell me the truth. Um, do you really like Luke? I was thinking about asking him to the dance. Wait, what? No, I don't like him. Are you being for real, Molly? I, I don't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah, I don't I don't like Luke. I, I actually just like don't like him at all. He's not even my friend anymore. Wait, what? So I've been out of a different like out of our school and a different school for like a week and you already decided you don't want him as a friend? That's right. Well, what did he do? He ate my peanut butter and jelly sandwich at lunch. Can you believe that? Molly, are you telling me the truth right now? <laughs> That's kind of a silly reason to not be someone's friend. Yeah, but it was peanut butter and jelly. One of my favorites. And yes, it is a perfectly good reason. Now, come on. Let's go into the kitchen and make some snacks. I'm really hungry. You can find the kitchen. This house is gigantic. Oh, yeah. Molly, I haven't even figured it out yet, but I'm pretty sure it's up here. Whoa, Brookie! Your house is so amazing. I mean, not that amazing. It's it's kind of lame. What? What are you talking about? I thought you said you loved it. Yeah, I changed my mind. It's lame. <laughs> Molly, what's gotten into you? What do you mean, what's gotten into me? What's gotten into you? What? I... Okay. First of all, you don't want to be friends with Luke anymore, even though you had a huge crush on him and he was a good friend of yours just because he ate your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And now you're telling me you loved my house, but you're saying you don't love it? So which is the lie, Molly? What? Nothing's a lie. I'm not a liar. Oh, really, Molly? I think you are lying. I don't think you ever not want to be friends with Luke. And I think you really do like my house. Your house is crummy and ugly and I hate it. Molly! That hurt my feelings. Do you feel bad about hurting my feelings? Uh-oh. Um, no. Molly, maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. Well, you need to be my friend for at least another hour because my sister borrowed the car to go to dance class and I've got no ride home since you moved to another town. But Molly, you said you couldn't even live without me. They, you turned green because you'd be so sick if, if you couldn't be my friend anymore. And, and here I am inviting you to my new house and you're going to be rude like this? Do I look green now? Um, no. I think you should call Daisy and tell her to come pick you up early. Fine. I'll call her. It's ringing. Okay, fine. I can't believe it. I thought that when I moved away, we'd still be friends. Well, you thought wrong. Hello, what's up? I'm doing my peel rights. Daisy, um, you need to come get me, like, now. What? Why? Just come to Brookie's. It's an emergency. Bye. There, are you happy? Now I'm going to make a snap about how rude you are for kicking me out of your house. What? I don't want to be on your snap. I don't care you're on my snap. No! Uh, well, tell them the truth, then. You're being rude. I'm not going to be on your snap. Um, my friend Brookie is being so rude right now. She's kicking me out of her house for no reason. What? No, I'm not. Says the girl who doesn't even want to be on this snap. Okay, Molly, tell me the truth. What's really going on? Are you an alien that's abducted my best friend's body? Because you don't seem like yourself. Well, think again. Excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom. I ate a bean burrito for lunch. <laughs> the bathroom's the other way. Fine. <gasps> Molly, that's not the door to the bathroom. Well, that's not my fault. I mean, why'd you make your door so big on your refrigerator? Molly, you're not allowed to just eat my food after you were so mean to me. Too bad. Mm. I'm eating this ice cream on the way to the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, Molly, you are so rude. 
Ow, why are you running into me? Because I don't know where the bathroom is in this house either. Ugh. Well, I don't know why my friend has gotten so rude. I don't know what her problem is. Good ice cream. Molly, are you done in the bathroom? I have to use it. No, I'm not. Well, get out of the bathroom, Molly. Why are you lying so much to me? I'm going in the bathroom. Okay, well, you have fun with that. What's that smell? <gasps> Ew! Molly, did you forget to flush the toilet? Huh? What? No, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about this giant dude in my bathroom. Gross! Uh, yeah, no, that wasn't me. Molly, you're the only one here. What, was it a ghost? Uh, yep, must have been. Why is he lying so much? And what did you have for lunch? It's gross in here. <coughs> I had a nutritious, delicious lunch. A chicken salad. I don't believe you, Molly. You had bean burritos. I know what bean burritos do to you. Why are you lying? I'm not lying. What are you talking about? You're lying about lying. I'm not 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 lying. Hello? Is anybody there? We're going to get to the bottom of this, Molly. If it's the last thing I do. Get to the bottom of what? What are you even talking about? We're downstairs, Daisy. Come on in and pick up your rude, lying sister. What's going on? I had to leave my dance class early. This is ridiculous. Molly, tell me what's going on. Did you stick up Boogie's bathroom? What? No. Why do you say that? Because it smells awful in here and I know it wasn't Brookie. And you had a bean burrito for lunch. Hey, you told me you had a delicious and nutritious something. Chicken salad or something. You didn't say bean burrito. Um, uh, well, this is mistaken. No, I'm not, Molly. Why are you lying about that? You love bean burritos. She's been lying about everything, Daisy. I have not. If you guys are going to be rude to me, I'm going outside. Even though I don't know how to get out of here and I can't walk home because it's too far. Molly, get back in here. We have more questions. Yeah, Molly, why? I don't know. I just keep lying and I don't know why. Oh my gosh. Molly caught my out of me. <gasps> what? 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 What's that? I saw it about it. I, did. I saw it. I, I can't even talk. I'm so crazy by that. I saw this um thing on the news. It's called Lyotomy. It's been going around Brookhaven. You must have moved before you caught it. Well, why don't you have it, Daisy? I don't know. Maybe I'm immune. Um, I do wash my hands a lot. Molly, did you wash your hands? What? Yes. Molly. Yes. Molly, tell the truth. Yes. She can't tell the truth. Seems like Lyotomy makes her lie about everything. Well, do you still want to be your friend? I mean, it's not really her fault. Yeah, it's not really my fault. Wait, I'm not even lying. Am I? I don't know. Oh my god. I might be lying! We need to take her to the hospital. Right away. Good idea! So, um, I'm at the hospital because I'm having a baby. Molly, why are you telling people that? Get, get out of here, Molly. That's not true. Hey, get out of my snap! <laughs> I'm here to have twins. It might actually be privileged. Oh my god, she has lyotomy so bad. They're crying inside of my belly right now. Body, you're the one who did that. The triplets are very mad at you for saying that. Oh god, someone give us something to knock her out. Oh look, no one's here. Time to go. Molly, get back here. Oh, I ran into the door. <laughs> Maybe I need to have my head checked. Hi, I'm Dr. Joan, and I'm going to be taking care of you today. I'm going to need you to lay down on the bed. I am laying down, lady. Um, no, you're not. You're standing up. Did you fall and bonk on your head? Ow. No, I'm just sitting down. Yeah, can't you see I'm sitting down? Okay, listen, Molly. If you don't sit down, I can't help you. I don't need help. I'm perfectly fine. No, she's not. Don't listen to that crazy person standing outside the window of this room. I don't know who she is. That's your sister. She signed you in. Now, I'm thinking that you live in Brookhaven? No, I don't. I live in Blacksburg. No, she doesn't. She lives in Brookhaven. She didn't wash her hand before she ate a donut. Now she's got lyotomy. Lyotomy? Are you serious? Okay, dear. Lay down. Uh, I thought we already went over this. I'm laying down. Lay down! Okay, fine. Wow, why are you being so rude? Well... This is going to be a little unpleasant. Do I get medicine? Do I get to hang out in the hospital? Do I have to do homework? 
Um, no, no, and no. Sorry about this, but in order for you to be cured from lyotomy, you're basically gonna have to get smacked in the head with this. What? Check, please! Daisy! Ah, why can't I move? Oh, yeah, I did give you just a little bit of medicine in your IV so that, um, you couldn't move while I did this. Ah! Well, sorry about this, but, ooh, I sort of need a nap. <laughs> just kidding. It's a glitch in the game. It always makes me want to lay down in the bed when I'm trying to be a doctor. Ow, did you just hit me? Okay, try to tell a lie. You're very pretty. What? I don't know if that's a lie or the truth. It's a lie, lady. Knock me again. How about now? Are you feeling any better? Ow, okay, I'm better. Why you keep hitting me? Because you called me ugly and you deserved that. Ugh, I want to get out of here. Can I move now? I suggest you lay here on this magic cot for at least another hour. Is it really magic? Um, no, but I may have caught your lyotomy. Oh, no! It's spreading! Ah! Uh-oh. Guess you should have washed your hands before you smacked me in the head with that hammer. Molly? Are you okay? Yeah. I'm feeling a lot better, but I have a headache. Ow! I wonder. Holy guacamole. Where's Brookie? Uh... You're lying down a little bit too much for her. Oh, no. Oh, Molly, apparently whatever they gave you made you levitate. Um, actually, no, that's from my bean burrito. <laughs> Ew, Molly. What? It makes a lot of wind under me. <laughs> Get it, wind. Ay, ay, ay. Molly, just text Boogie. Tell her you're sorry. Okay, here we go. Hi, Brookie. I know I lied, but it was because... I had a disease. I may lie about my homework. Oh, wait, I got it wrong. Um, uh, if you did your homework, you could spell it right. I wouldn't lie to you, please. We've been friends forever. Molly, just apologize. Why are you waiting to a novel right now? It's not supposed to be a book. Daisy, shh. Please, we've been friends forever. We met at daycare. And you... Five minutes later. You've been my BFF since then. How will I ever... A few minutes later. Live without you. Not just say you're sorry. Okay, fine. Whoops, I already clicked send. I'm... Emoji. Um, or a dog, maybe. Look at this grumpy cat. Like, wait. What? I just want to send her something cute. Why do I always got to pay for it? Oh my god, I think she sent me a heart. Did I send her? Oh. Yeah, yeah, Molly. She sent that to you. I hope she comes back into the hospital and talks to me. Oh, uh, Molly. She may. Oh, she texts you back. She texts me back. What am I saying? I don't know. She smacked you on the head with a hammer. Okay. What does this mean? I don't, Molly, just, just, just put your phone down. You need your rest. No, I need to know what she means. Molly, the doctor told you to stay in bed. You just had a crazy procedure. I know, but I have to find Brookie. Oh, Brookie! I'm so sorry. Where are you? What do you want, Molly? Oh, Brookie! Hi, I'm sorry I had li lyotomy and, and, and... Uh, do you forgive me? <gasps> I don't know. Yes, I... No. Wait, what? I don't know. I mean... You are, well, an ugly person. Wait, what? Oh my god, Brookie, do you feel sort of green? Uh, yeah, sort of. Uh, okay, um, Brookie, you caught lyotomy. <gasps> what? No, I haven't. Brookie, you're lying. Come on, let's go. They have to hit you over the head with a hammer. Wait, what? Are you lying? No, really, that's the cure. Oh! Hey, Dad, what's up? Hey, Molly, why aren't you in bed? It's getting really late. I don't know, I just couldn't sleep, and I was thinking about maybe having a snack. Can I have some cake, please, please, please? Um, Molly, it's a little late for cake, don't you think? Uh, my answer to that is no, and also no. <laughs> what are you doing, Dad? 
Just getting ready to go to bed. By working out? That sounds miserable. I just want to eat cake before bed. Trust me, Dad, it'll help me sleep. Molly, you could have a healthy snack before bed. Now, I need to get my work in it, out in so I can get to sleep. I have a big day tomorrow. Okay, Dad, whatever you say. I'm gonna have just a little bite of chocolate cake, okay, Dad? Molly, no, an apple, a banana, something like that. Uh. I can't believe it. Tomorrow's the day I'm gonna get promoted. It's gonna be amazing, honey. Honey? Honey? Well, I know you're dreaming about my promotion and you're super proud of me in it, even if you aren't listening to me right now. <laughs> I also know you had a really long day. I'll see you in the morning. Love you, Laura. I guess that means I love you back. The next morning. Oh boy, oh boy! Today's the day of the science fair. Do, 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 do. I know I'm gonna win this year. My science project is the best of them all. Yay! I got up super early just so I could be extra prepared and to school extra early. The purple one's my favorite. Come on, I gotta ride the purple unicorn. She looks so fast. Is that my alarm? Uh, it's too early. Uh, Who ever heard of morning detention? It's not right. It's not fair. Well, Molly, that sounds about right. They ran out of detention afternoons, so they had to start giving you a morning one. Molly? Okay, okay, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Time to go brush my teeth and get ready for the day. Oh, uh, what a shame the shower is broke. I guess this morning I'm gonna have to take a luxurious bath before I have to do tons of mom stuff. I have to take baby Kira to a doctor's appointment. I have to get groceries, Ugh, so much stuff. But right now, I'm in heaven. Ah. It's morning already. Oh, this is gonna be a great day, though. <laughs> oh, my hair feels kind of crazy. That's right, though. I've got plenty of time to get ready before my job promotion. It's gonna be amazing. With the extra money, I'm gonna buy my family a brand new in-ground swimming pool this summer. How awesome! <sighs> Just gonna do a little working out, get myself all fired up for my amazing day. The bathroom door's locked. No one ever gets up this early. Who's in the bathroom? Oh, honey, it's me. The shower broke again. Uh, are you gonna be long? Are you just going to the bathroom? Because I, I, I have to get ready. Um, yeah, I won't be that much longer. I'm taking a bath. I'm just, I'm, you know, been like stressed, so. Well, uh, uh, I applaud your self-care, honey, but I have a big day today, big promotion, and my hair looks a little crazy, okay? So, um, yeah, like 10 minutes? Sure, honey, sure, I'll be right out. One eternity later. Well, I guess Dan needs to get ready for his job today. I should probably get out of the bathroom. It's all yours, honey! Great! I can finally get ready now. Shouldn't have ate that bean burrito! Shouldn't have ate that bean burrito! Molly, what are you doing? I have to come in there. No, you definitely do not want to come in here. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Molly, come on. I'm going to be late for my job promotion. and This is a big deal. Do you want the swimming pool or not? Dad, you look fine. Just go on your interview like that or whatever it is you're doing today. Your promotion, interview. I don't know what grown-ups do. Molly, I'm wearing plaid pajamas and have you seen my hair? <laughs> Yeah, looks really cool, stylish even, Dad. <laughs> I've seen rock stars who actually do their hair like that. I'm a police officer, not a rock star. Ooh, pancakes sound delicious. Honey, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, Molly just went into the bathroom and she's stinking it up again. Yeah. I told her to stop eating green burritos, but she doesn't listen. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. You seem really stressed. This is supposed to be a special day for you. Yeah, look at the time! You know what she actually told me? I should wear my plaid pajamas to my job promotion. Well, you could always go use the kids' bathroom. What? The kids' bathroom? Oh, no way! 
Oh, quit being so dramatic, Dan. Besides, desperate times call for desperate measures. Oh, the horror of that bathroom. There's toothpaste on the walls. It's just wrong. You'll survive. Besides, it's either that or going into our bathroom after Molly's been in there. Okay, I guess I have no choice. I'm going for it. This left pigtail doesn't seem exactly even with a right pigtail. Maybe if I brush it another 200 times, it will make it perfect. I mean, I have to look like a fashionista at the science fair. I can't believe I'm about to go into the kids' bathroom. Wait, Daisy's in there? Daisy, are you almost done? Um, no, not really. My pigtails aren't even. Today's a very important day for me. I have to look my best. But today I'm getting a promotion and then I'm gonna use the extra money to buy a pool. I don't want a pool. Get out of the bathroom! Oh, wow, somebody's grumpy. You'd think you'd be in a better mood since you're getting a promotion at your job. I just need to brush my hair. It takes me five seconds to take a shower. Unlike all the girls in the house who take 45 minute showers, get out of the bathroom! Whoa! Okay, I just need another five minutes. I don't have five minutes. I have to leave in five minutes. I don't know what to tell you, Dad. Sorry. <sighs> Honey, where are you going? I have to leave now. I'm going to be late for my own job promotion. Oh, uh, are you going like that? I have no choice. Well, here. At least take this cup of coffee. Thanks, honey. Uh. Whew! That room's closed for the next year. <laughs> hey, I'm done in the bathroom! Okay, my pigtails are finally perfect. You can use the bathroom now, Dad. Oh, too late. I guess I'm just going to work like this. Well, have fun at your promotion. Bye! I don't know why you were so grumpy. You'd think you'd be happier about a promotion. Oh, birds freezing out here and I'm wearing my pajamas. Well, you did have to take the motorcycle today. Since I needed to take baby Kira to her doctor's appointment, I needed the car. Oopsie. Well, hopefully he has a good day anyway. Yeah, we're getting an indoor pool. No, Molly, in ground pool. I think he said indoor. In ground. Okay, girls, why don't you get ready for school and I will take you. Really? We don't have to ride the bus? Yep, I made some pancakes. Go eat them and then we'll head out. Wow, this was a great morning routine. I thought so too. Very relaxing. Totally. <laughs> Okay, class. Okay, everyone settle down. I know there's frogs on your desk, but trust me, they're not going to bite. Now, where's Molly? Is she late again? Oh, I don't want to have to give her detention. I'm not late. I'm not late. I swear it. I'm not. Molly, I saved you a seat. Come on, sit down. La, 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 la. Oops, I didn't mean to close the curtains. Uh, I just want to sit down in my seat. Oh, wow. Look at these frogs. I know, they're kind of cute, right? Um, yeah, they're pretty cute. Um, but are they gonna bite me? I just got done telling the class no one's frog is going to bite them. Hell, frogs are like so gross and boring. Yeah. I'd rather read my, read my fashion magazine and pretend this wasn't happening. Sarah, please put the magazine away. Brookie, I'm Molly, please stop talking. Oh, guys, this is the same stuff I tell you every single day in class. Why aren't you listening? All right, so Molly, I'd like you to go to the board, please, and answer number five from your workbook. Workbook? Workbook? What's a workbook? Uh-oh. She's not going to be very happy if you're playing dumb. I don't, I don't know what a workbook is, Mrs. Griffin. Molly, quit goofing around. You're being ridiculous, and I don't want to have to give you another detention. And I'll call your mom. No, seriously! I have amnesia! I can't remember anything! Um, Molly, I don't think she's falling for that. You probably should go to the board. Oh, no. I didn't answer this question. I don't know what the answer is. Well, Molly, um, do your best guess, I guess. Um, duh, uh, <laughs> This looks super hard. Molly, did you actually do your homework last night? Um, well, uh, Molly, 
was like, sorry, I had soccer practice. And then I came home and I had to play this new Roblox game because it was amazing. And Molly, ugh. I don't even know what to do with you anymore. I mean, I've given you enough detentions. You think you'd get the hint. My job is so hard. I think I'm just gonna quit and move to a deserted island where no one can bother me and I can eat pizza all day. <laughs> You're so funny, Mrs. Griffin. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Well, they don't grow pepperoni or cheese on an island. Ugh. I can't believe I'm in this class with these ignoramuses. Whatever, Sarah. You don't know anything about pizza. I know everything about pizza. Besides, Mrs. Griffin, what's so hard about your job? Ah, uh, you just have to sit at a desk and teach kids all day. It's not that bad. <gasps> oh, really? You don't think so? Okay, why don't you teach the class today since you think it's so easy? <laughs> really? Um, eh, uh... I don't know if that's such a good idea. Uh -oh. oh, no, 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 no. You wanted this, so you get to do it, or else you're going to fail science for the year. Good luck. I'm out of here. Where have you been, loser? I had my gifted class this morning. It was amazing. We learned so much science. Why is Molly up at the desk, Sarah? And where's Mrs. Griffin? Oh, so glad you could join us and finally see the drama that's unfolding in front of our eyes. What drama? Mrs. Griffin, like, pretty much quit and made Molly become the teacher. Wait, what? Okay, class, everybody, be quiet. I'm in charge now. <laughs> oh, God. We're all doomed. <laughs> I'm going to be a great teacher. You just wait and see. Okay, let's just look at Mrs. Griffin's lesson plan. I can copy off hers for at least today, right? I hope. I think. Okay. Um, all right, everybody. Uh, take out your textbooks to page 45. And we're going to be learning about the anatomy of these gorgeous and slimy frogs that are currently on your desk. It says here that... Frogs are a member of a diverse and largely carnivorous group of short-bodied, tailless amphibians. And that, wait a minute, most frogs have a so, s small number of them have front teeth. Uh, but, but I'm, wait, I'm just shocked right now. Most frogs have a small number of teeth in their upper jaws. Holy guacamole, no more English, no more math. No more crazy quantum sciencey blah 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 blah. Throwing it all in the trash. Wait, what? We're going to do school Molly's way. <laughs> and in this school, everybody passes, no matter what. Because how can you fail Molly's school? Well, except for you, Daisy, you might fail Molly's school. W why? Because you're an overachiever. And in Molly's school, you're an underachiever. Watch my very first lesson. First things first, lay on the ground. Take a nap if you even want to. The teacher's very boring, don't you know? So there's your first lesson, everybody. I want to see you laying down, being lazy. This is graded, so try your hardest or your least hardest. School is so boring. Ugh, I just need to be lazy. Great job, Brookie. 96% on your laziness. Ugh, whatever. Okay, I'm at Molly's school. This is boring. Ugh. Um, Sarah, you could have put in a little bit more effort than that, but I'm still going to give you an 85 because you did pretty good. Sarah? Sarah? Wow, her grade just went up to 100. She actually fell asleep. Oh, wow, Sarah, you're amazing. Yeah, being lazy is not that hard. Daisy? I can't do it. Uh-oh. Daisy. Never give up and never surrender. You can do anything. <sighs> All right. I'll try. This feels so wrong, but here we go. Daisy, great job. One. Two. Daisy, are you doing sit-ups? What are you doing? No, no, that's not the point. Being lazy is the point. 
But I just thought while I'm laying on the floor, I can make that work for me by getting better abs and be healthy. Daisy, you get an F. Wait, what? Why? Because, Daisy, I'm exhausted just looking at you. The, the, the whole point was to be lazy. Well, then I guess I failed Molly's class because I'm not lazy. This is who I am. <laughs> I can totally tell. All right, for the next test, eating in class. Who brought something delicious? I, I brought a chicken sandwich with cheese. Oh, it's so good. I got it from Chick-fil-A. Should I eat it? Will that make me pass? <laughs> no, the food's not for you. It's for me. Now, everybody bring up your lunches up here if you want to pass. Molly, you are the worst teacher in the... Shh. Daisy, no one asked you. This is Molly's world, and I'm going to eat all of your lunches. <laughs> a princess. I'm gonna be playing the princess story and there's even a deluxe princess castle. Um, I don't know if I can be a toddler. Um, and, and, well, where's my hair? Okay, I did, first of all, I need to have some hair and then I can go do the princess story, but uh, let's go back to my avatar because, um, I'm missing hair. Let's see, something that looks just like me and my hair. Okay, that's better. Now we can go read the princess story in the library. I'm so excited. It's going to be so adorable. I just know it. Ooh, I'm taking out a book, guys. Once upon a time, there was a princess picking magical strawberries to help her mom. Hmm, there should be enough strawberries, I believe. But out of nowhere, a scary-looking dragon jumped out of the bushes. Ah! I'm the hungry dragon, and if the name doesn't make it obvious enough, I'm hungry! Don't even think about it! There for my mom, the queen! Come on, just give me one! No! And you shall not pass to the other side! Oh no! What am I gonna do now? Okay, I have an idea. Hey, hungry dragon, did you know that if you look at the sky for 10 seconds it becomes pink? Wait, really? I gotta try that! One, two, three, four... Whoop! That's my cue! Have fun! Nine, ten... Wow! It did become pink! How's that even possible? Finally, the princess arrived at the castle. Bob, I brought you some magical strawberries to cure your cold. Oh, yes! I'm afraid you brought me way too many, though. I'm not going to be able to eat all of these. I can help. Wait, what? You followed me all the way here? Yeah, what can I say? You're not you when you're hungry. Oh, wait, right. I guess I'll give you some magical strawberries for your waffle. Yay! And they all lived happily ever after. The end. Whoa, that was an adorable story. I loved it. Okay, now it's time to go see if I can get one of these amazing castles. But first, I kind of want to have a snack. And I haven't been in here in a while. Guys, look at this. There's a lot of stuff in here now. Oh, it's a toy bottle. Okay, well, I guess I'm not going to be drinking that. <sighs> okay, I got a little distracted because it's time to swim. And I wanted to see this new pool that we have. Holy guacamole. I can't swim. I'm in the water. Somebody help. Oh! Okay, well, I'll just, I'll just swim over to this floaty and sit on it. Hopefully someone will come rescue me like a teacher. At any point, is anyone going to come? No? Okay, okay, I'll just spend the night out here in this pool instead of in my princess castle. Somebody come rescue me! I'm a princess, you know! I deserve to be rescued! One eternity later. Finally! Ah, and I was rescued by a unicorn. My day couldn't get any better. Now, unicorn, I'd like to go to my princess castle, okay? And also, I need a bath. And also... <laughs> I have the hiccups because I'm starving. Oh my, it looks like, well, you need a bath. Look how dirty you are. That's right, servant. What? I'm not your servant. I'm your caretaker. And I'm a unicorn. I don't know a 
what that is, a caretaker, but um, I'm a princess. Well, <laughs> I don't know if you're a princess. I am a princess, believe me. I believe that you're a unicorn. Well, everyone can see I'm a unicorn. I have a horn. <laughs> I need to go party. I need to go party. Okay, okay. I do need to go to my princess Psst. castle. <laughs> a princess castle? Are you really a princess? Yes, unicorn. And you can live there with me if you want to. Ooh, that sounds pretty amazing. And since I just came to planet Earth from Unicorn Land, I don't have somewhere to 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 sleep yet. So I guess I could live with you at your castle. Oh, that would be amazing. Okay, Unicorn, let's go. Whoa, this place is amazing. I know, right? I love this place. Oh, it's so happy. La, 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 la. Look, I even have my own doll's room. Not now. We're going to go into the bounce house. I've never been to a bounce house. And as a unicorn, I always wanted to. Whee! <laughs> this is fun, right? <laughs> oh, it seems like you're tired. No, I don't want to go to my room. Well, I think you should. You're probably just so sleepy. Come on. Let's take a night-night. I like a night-night. You and me, unicorn. La, 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 la. Are you feeling much better now? Hmm, Princess Daisy? I'm feeling a lot better, but I need diaper change. No problem. I'll definitely give you a diaper change. <laughs> Is that better? You're the most magical unicorn ever. And now you need something to drink. Glug, 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 glug. Would you like some more? No! I'm a princess and I'm grumpy! What? Don't, don't, don't spit your milk out at me. Naughty baby. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you. Sometimes I'm grumpy though. Sometimes I get really grumpy and I don't know why. It's just because you're a human baby. But don't worry, unicorn babies are like that too. La, 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 la. Listen to my unicorn song. I like your unicorn song. It's really pretty. Hmm, you're not stopping to cry yet. Hmm, I don't know why you're still crying. I don't know what to do. Human babies are sometimes very confusing. Do you want to go down the slide? That'll be fun. There's a slide. Okay, we. Can I have some food now? I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. Give me something to eat, lady. Well, um, I think we can go down the slide one more time. Do I look like I'm... Ah! Why are you throwing me down the slide? Oh, rude unicorn. Okay, now I have to run away because it's unicorn. Oh, boy, there she is. Oh, my gosh. There's no escaping you. I can't get up there. Damn it. I want to have something to eat. Okay, okay. I just thought we'd get a little exercise before we had a snack. You just had a bottle. But I'm still hungry. Stop taking me down the slide. Oh my gosh, she doesn't know that I need something to eat apparently. Food, 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 food. Damn it, I need food. Okay, this, I'm starting to think this unicorn might be evil. I want something to eat. See, I'm standing in front of the food. Can I have it, please? I'm crying. I need food. But unicorns just want to have fun. Come on, let's go in the ball pit now. Or we could make a picture. What do you want to do? I want to eat food, you crazy unicorn. Okay, I guess it could be time for a snack, right? No, um, um, yeah. Yes, finally. She's going to feed me. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy. I thought this unicorn was going to stop me forever. <laughs> ah, give me more, please. Open your mouth for the airplane. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations to you. You're a battle unicorn mom and you feed your baby. Holy guacamole. Okay, what should we do now? I don't know. This is, um, this has been really fun, unicorn. Why are you trying to put me down? She's leaving me in my crib. I'm not even talking. Hey, lady. Okay, the unicorn has abandoned me. I don't know why. I'm going to sneak out of my crib, though. I'm going to sneak out when she least expects it. 
Flawless lava room. You know I want to play that. Click here to erupt the volcano. <laughs> what up? I'm gonna get out of here before the lava gets me. Did she just leave me here? Where did that unicorn go? Oh my gosh, lady. You're not supposed to leave me home alone. I need medicine. I'm sick. She locked me in here. Oh my gosh. Help, I'm stuck in this crazy unicorn's house. Okay, I think I can get through here. Can I crawl maybe? <gasps> I got out, guys. I got out. Okay, that unicorn was sort of cool as a mom. And also maybe a little evil. <gasps> Look, I thought that was my castle, but it wasn't actually my castle. It was her house. I'm going home to my castle. And the unicorn can't live there. Hello, it's Princess Daisy. Please let me in. Hello? Uh, Mom, is that you? Mom? Okay, just let me ring the bell. This isn't your house. Oh my gosh, everybody thinks I belong to their unicorn now. Mom, it's me. Who are you? And why are you here all alone? Mom, it's me, Daisy, your daughter. Hmm, I don't think I know any Daisy. I better make, take you to the adoption center. Mom, I'm Princess Daisy. That evil unicorn has put a spell on you. What? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I'm, I don't know anyone named Princess Daisy. I'm your daughter. I don't have a daughter. Why are we roller skating? You don't roller skate, Mom. What are you talking about? I roller skate all the time. I love roller skating. Okay, something crazy is going on. That evil unicorn has put a spell on my mom. Where are we going, lady? Here, I'm giving you some medicine. Well, even though you don't remember that you're my mom, at least you took care of me. You say that I'm your mom, but why do you think that? Because you are. I don't remember being your mom. That's because that evil unicorn put a spell on you. I thought she was nice, but turns out she's an evil one. Oh, poor baby. Ew, what's that smell? <coughs> Ew, you smell like a stinky doo-doo. And your teeth are dirty. That's because the unicorn didn't brush them. Could you brush them for me? Of course I'll brush your teeth. But now we need to, well, take you to the adoption center. I don't want to go to the adoption center. You're my mommy. I'm sorry, sweetie. I think you must have gotten a concussion. I'm not your mommy. You are my mommy. You have to believe me. Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Where are we? Well, I'm about to take you to get you some new clothes and make you look presentable for your new family. But, but you are my family. Now hold still while I pick out something adorable for you to wear. Mom, snap out of it. There. What, you, you giving me different hail? But, what about my blonde, my, my, why did I say blonde? Because now I am blonde. I don't wanna be a blonde. I wanna be redhead and pink tails. I look adorable that way. I'm just not happy. This unicorn has ruined my life. Silly unicorn. I I should have never talked to that unicorn. <laughs> oh my. Well, this outfit's pretty cute. My mom has changed. She wants to make me into somebody that I'm not. I want you to look just like me, sweetie. So that way you'll get adopted. Well, since I look just like you, why don't you adopt me? Well, <laughs> you, um, I don't know. You are my mom already! Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Well, I guess there might be some truth in this. But if you were my daughter, you'd have blonde hair. No, I have red hair like dad! And like grandma? Um, okay, well... I can't believe it! This evil unicorn put a spell on everyone! But I have to break it if it's the last thing I do! Sorry about this, Mom, but I'm running away. I don't think she even noticed. I guess I don't mean that much to her yet. But I will when she remembers who I am. Okay, now where's the exit door? Here it is. I've got to run before she gets me. Hey, little girl, you can't just run away. I have to learn how to break the, the curse that the, the evil unicorn put on my family. It says in my spell book that if I pick this special white flower, then I smell it. The spell should be broken. 
I hope that worked. I really do. Ma'am? Ma'am, I'm home! Who's this? Wait, who? Who are you? This is my baby. And wait, you're that adopted baby. No, I'm your real daughter, Daisy! Daisy? Is that you? The special flower is working. The unicorn spell is where we go. Oh my gosh, Daisy. Oh my gosh, are you okay? And why do you have blonde hair? Because, Mom, you were tricked by an evil unicorn. Well, let's get you cleaned up and get your hair back to normal. I'm so sorry that unicorn put a spell on me. It's okay, Mom, but we have to be careful from now on. Evil unicorns exist and and we can't let them ruin our family. It's okay, Daisy. You can dry your tears now, honey. Everything is going to be okay. I hope so, Mom. I really hope so.